What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Spoiling Movies, where, as the title suggests, I will be talking about a movie I just watched and review it with lots and lots of spoilers and details about the movie. I'm going to be talking about the movie Jackie, starring Natalie Portman. So, opening scenes, she goes to the door in this giant house that she's in, and a, a reporter has arrived, and they're at the doorway, and she's speaking to him, and she is saying, I'm going to tell you my story about Jackie Kennedy. The, the movie's about Jackie Kennedy and uh, what she went through after uh, JFK died. She says to the reporter, I'm going to be editing all of this. So, like, it's going to come out exactly as I want it, and you're not going to put anything in there that I, that, I don't, that I don't want people to know or think about or whatever. She's very interested in preserving this certain kind of image. People are walking around the White House, they're, uh, they're filming, and, and she's explaining, uh, you know, the things. They're asking her, like, you know, what did you do? Like, how about the Lincoln bedroom? And she's like, well, this is... <laughs> okay, <laughs> she, has, she has a really interesting way of speaking. She's, she's very slow and very meticulous about the way that she says things. I don't know, it's, it's, the, it's a very, like, it's kind of a pompous voice. It's a very, it's a very, oh, well, I suppose I'll tell you that when I get around to it. <laughs> she was definitely playing a character. She was definitely in the role. This was not Natalie Portman just being Natalie Portman, like I feel like I, you know, see in a lot of, a lot of her movies. She was playing this person, and she was, you know, acting. She was acting her ass off. She is explaining to the reporter in the present day that um, about the moment where she, where John F. Kennedy had just been shot. She was like talking about keeping his head together. She was like, there was so many pieces. I was trying to keep his head together. Super gross. Crying and talking about all the blood and all the pieces of his head and her trying to keep it all together and stuff. And it's that's kind of gross. She's like, I'm not going to let you put that in. This guy's sitting there writing notes to, you know, he's interviewing her about this stuff. And she's saying things to him that are just true and how she feels about them. But she's saying, I'm not going to let you publish that. Don't you dare think I'm going to let you have that in this piece. It's super crazy that in the next, like, in, in real life, they had to have another president immediately. So after, like, minutes or however long after, her husband's head was blown into pieces. She, they have to swear in a new president. So the vice president, Lyndon B. Johnson, has to be sworn in on the plane right after this happens. So she's standing there with blood on her dress. The new president is being sworn in, and she's just, like, still just standing there, just mortified with, like, blood all over and stuff. And there's a casket in the plane, like, flying in the plane next to her. She's walking through the White House, and it's empty. She's still got blood on her dress. Like, it all happens very quickly, and, and it's, it seems very, it seems weird to me, because, like, a, a lot of time has passed in the movie, in movie time, a lot of time has passed, but in, in real life, she, she was doing all those things, and the autopsy thing was happening, and, uh, all those things happened very, very quickly. So she's just now getting back to the White House and just now able to, like, take a shower and get her husband's blood off of her and stuff. But in there was kind of an odd thing to me, and maybe you guys can help me figure this out. But she she unbuttons her her shirt, her her thing, her the top part of her outfit. She unbuttons it bottom to top. She starts unbuttoning from the bottom. Who does that? Is that a normal thing? Does any of you guys unbutton from the bottom? Like, even if it's a certain type of shirt, I, I always go, you know, unbutton top to bottom. So she's talking to somebody about setting up the funeral procession, and she wants to make it like Lincoln's. Earlier in a, uh, in a hearse, she's riding with uh, Robert Kennedy and a couple other people, the driver and, uh, like, a, a nurse person or something, and she's like what do you remember about this president? And they're like, I don't know. And they're like, what do you remember about this president? And they're like, I don't know. And then she asked the driver, like, what do you remember about Lincoln? And they were like, well, he, he did, he freed the slaves and he, 
just ended the war. And so, and that's all she, she takes uh, from, from that guy saying that. And I think that that influences her into deciding that she wants JFK's funeral procession to be like Lincoln's. She want them, wants them to go down this, uh, this, this big, busy street, lots and lots of people there. She wants there to be like horse-drawn carriages and stuff. Uh, she wants it to be a lot like that, and everybody's like, like, no, that's not a good idea. Like, there, there might still be people trying to kill the vice president and some of the other dignitaries that show up. So don't do that. Like, that's that's a bad idea. That's gonna, you know, that's gonna put pe people in danger. And she's basically like, well, I'm gonna. I think it's the interview guy in present day that is asking her about. Um, you know, you were the person that threw all these interesting parties with these big, these big people, these characters. You made the White House like a warm home. And she says, when you're the president's wife, you got to have your bags packed. You got to be ready to move. Like, you can't really make this a, a home because you're going to be moving out. Like, it's just going to happen. You know it. There's a scene where she, uh, Natalie Portman, as Jackie, is walking around in the White House trying on different dresses, smoking all of the cigarettes, and it looks like she's trying to kill herself because they show pill bottles and they also show, like, her drinking a lot. So I was I was thinking, like, oh, did she try to kill herself? Is this, is that a thing? Like, is, is that what they're doing here? Like, showing her trying to kill herself? But I guess that wasn't the thing. It just seemed that way to me because she was taking a bunch of pills and walking through the house and drinking. In the real-life interview with the the guy, the reporter guy, she says, like, so how would you write that, you know, that I'm doing all these things, that I was drinking and smoking and changing clothes and doing all these weird things or whatever. And he's like, well, I guess I'd say she lit up another cigarette and was feeling very forlorn and, and blah, 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 and whatever. And when he's done talking, she's like, I don't smoke cigarettes. She's sitting there with a cigarette. She says, I don't smoke cigarettes. She's talking to a priest who is played by an actor that I really like. I can't think of his name, but I'll put him on screen as soon as I do. And she's saying, you know, where was, where is God? What is God? What is he doing? And he says, God is all around us. He's inside of us. He's inside of everything. So she said, was he inside the bullet? Was God inside the bullet that killed my husband? And he says, of course, yes. Her and a bunch of other of uh, her friends and people that were working with her and the president, I guess, are sitting around watching a TV. Lyndon Johnson's there also. They're watching this TV, and it's showing a broadcast of Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, and it's just a very brief shot. They don't even say much about it, like that, that he was a, a suspect or anything like that. They're showing a picture, uh, a video of Lee Harvey Oswald walking through some, uh, some streets, and they're, like, talking to him, uh, interviewing him or whatever, uh, as he's walking, being taken by the cops, I guess. And that's when he gets shot. And they're like, ah, everybody's freaking out. And they're watching, you know, and uh, Lyndon B. Johnson character played by this guy. Can't remember his name either, but I like him. He is, like, this makes us look like a bunch of barbarians. And I guess be he meant that because it looks like they were involved in the assassination of Lee Harvey Oswald. And when they're talking about the funeral procession that she wants to have, uh, somebody, I think it's Robert Kennedy, his brother, that was saying, don't, you know, you don't, don't have the kids, don't have your children be out on display for the, for the whole world. It's not a good idea. And, you know, we don't want this big depressing funeral thing that you're trying to plan. Because uh, it's just, I, I don't know exactly why, because it's depressing and it's a security risk, I guess. Uh, but she wants to go through with this big elaborate thing, and then she changes her mind a little bit after that. You know what, that's a bad idea. This was a mistake. I shouldn't do that. Let's go the back way, you know, do like the funeral procession thing, but don't do it the way that I was going to do it with the Lincoln thing. Let's go the back way. Let's just get it done, keep it small and secretive or whatever. They go back to the whole... Her talking about redesigning the house and how she wanted, the, you know, all these historic figures and men to be, uh, you know, shown the way that they were, that they were real people, that they weren't just like a myth, that they existed and they lived here and they did amazing things. There's a scene with the little boy blowing out his birthday candles and 
he like blows, there's, it's his third birthday, he's got a couple candles here and one candle over here, and, uh, and he blows out the farthest one first, and then he blows out the other two, like, immediately, and I was like, I call bullshit, no child in the history of children has ever blown out all of the candles on their first try like that, not in a million fucking years. Children suck at blowing out candles. So she changes her mind again and says, let's go with the big, the big funeral procession thing that I was talking about. Do it the Lincoln way. And so she's still, in real life, she's still talking to reporter guy, who was played by this guy, and is, like, she, she said a bunch of stuff. She was just describing a lot of the stuff that I just said to you guys. And then she, and then she says to the reporter, I never said that. So, like, she's just, she's like, I'm going to tell you all these things that were going on in my head and all the real stuff, but I'm going to edit the shit out of whatever you're writing. Like, this isn't even your story anymore. This is going to be exactly the way that I want it. I never said that. I don't smoke cigarettes. I didn't even, I'm not even talking to you right now. Like, that kind of thing. And then they go to the funeral procession. Everybody is sad and somber. They're doing the big Lincoln thing. There's horse-drawn carriages and shit, and the children are with her. They show a flashback, a little more of a uh, serious flashback that's like shows a little bit more of the the scene of JFK, like right after he'd been shot. His head is in her lap. She's like holding it. She's trying to put, you know, keep his head together, and and it's really graphic and it's unnecessary. It seemed like they just, you know, people are going to expect th to see this. But I was like, eh, you don't really need to show that. We already get it. We get what the whole, you know... Like, that thing happened. This very graphic, brutal thing happened. We, we can use our imaginations. We don't you, don't... you don't need to, like, show us the prosthetics and the makeup and stuff that you did. You can be a good actor, but not really look like the person that you're portraying. And I, th I don't think they, they quite got the, the look right, but she she acted well. The whole movie really seemed like it was about who she was as a person and what her contribution was mostly what her contribution was to to history and that was decorating the white house in a way that where people would be remembered and uh deciding to do the big lavish funeral procession thing and it to me the movie didn't it didn't it didn't get me it wasn't my type of movie I enjoyed it, but it. I wish there was more to it. I wish there was more, like, about her, like, who she was, really. Like, I don't know, like, other things that may have happened after all this, but it really was just about the way that she wanted to preserve the memories of people and the way that things were seen. It's all about her being in control of the way that uh, her and her husband were being perceived, and, uh, and it's just mostly about her deciding to do the funeral even though people were against it. That's pretty much the whole movie idea. Toward the end, she is driving by a clothing shop and is noticing that there are, uh, in the window, the mannequins, the, the women, female mannequins, are wearing her dress. Like, dresses that are different colored, but they were her dresses that she had been wearing. So, like, you know, you could see that she, that was, that she had made an impact on society women are going to dress like her because of her, you know, who she was. So basically, Jackie Kennedy, as portrayed in the movie, is kind of a fibber. She wants things to be remembered a certain way, and she wants to be in control of everything about the image and the way people perceive it. And that's fine. Honestly, the movie didn't really do it for me. I don't recommend this movie to people. I wanted to watch, and I've seen some other, like, historical movies, and I've enjoyed them. Like, I watched Lincoln, and I liked Lincoln. Um, and, it, I mean, even though it, that was kind of a boring movie, this one's a little bit boring. Like, I, I just, I guess I expected more of it to, like, dive more into her as a person. And it just kind of focused more on, like, the two main things that she did. You know, decorating the White House and setting up his, his funeral procession that people were against. And that's kind of, feels like that's all it was really about. So it kind of, it didn't do it for me. It, uh, I mean, good performances by everybody involved. I, it was done very well. The music kind of bothered me a little bit. Uh, there was a lot of tones. It was very depressing. But, I mean, I, I got what they were going for. I just, 
it just personally just for me it didn't it didn't quite it didn't quite work it's a it's sort of you know middle of the road kind of movie for me but i i wouldn't recommend it just because it didn't like i wasn't one way or another it wasn't bad it wasn't good it was just kind of eh, I, I don't know so there you go guys that was my review i hope you enjoyed feel free to leave a comment and let me know if you have any ideas for movies for me to watch and maybe i will watch them um that's it peace out guys